Combat aircraft fans know that in recent years, the air forces of first world countries have eyes only for fighters with stealth capabilities against radar, satellites and other devices that locate and intercept aircraft. While this technology is not perfect, military industries have been working on it for decades. Originally, it was applied to bomber planes travelling at high altitudes, which facilitated the work of stealthy design. But over the years, engineers were encouraged to create fighters with these capabilities. The pioneers were the Americans, particularly with the ability of mass production. The jewel in the American crown, the F-22 Raptor, is considered by many experts and fans to be the best representative of stealth fighters. Of course, technical excellence came at a huge financial cost. So in 2011, production of the F-22 was halted and development began on the stealth fighter that would replace it, the F-35 Lightning II. But it wasn't long before the two nations that closely followed the United States in world rankings managed to create their own aerial prodigies. Russia has enjoyed an excellent tradition in aerial combat and far from rejecting its Soviet past, it has taken two of its best heavy fighters, the Su-27 and the MiG-29, as a base to develop the imposing Sukhoi Su-57, the tip of the spear of the Russian Air Force in 2023. South of Moscow, in the land of Xi Jinping, another fighter star stands out as a competitor to the F-35 Lightning II. The Chengdu J-20 is a star element in China's new military strategy, in addition to representing its first fighter with integrated stealth technology, which greatly extends the tactical power of the Asian giant. In complete harmony with its new production of aircraft carriers and high-impact or even nuclear missiles, the J-20 seems to herald that Beijing's expansionist policy is just beginning. In this video, you will learn some of the most interesting characteristics of these three aircrafts, which have managed to define the excellence of the fifth generation of jet fighters. The origins of the F-35 go back to the beginning of the 1990s, when the DARPA agency presented the base of the CALF program, which is short for Common Economic Light Fighter. Here, we are going to stop at two words, common and economic. In the case of the first, it refers to the fact that the search was aimed at creating a flexible aircraft in terms of its capabilities, which could be used by all US military branches. The economic or affordable part comes from the F-22 Raptor program, which had to be cancelled due to the high costs of manufacturing each aircraft. The new vehicle had to be much cheaper to produce, since its objective was to replace the main American aircraft. Added to this was the fact that the program had to be marketable at an international level. With a budget of $750 million, Lockheed Martin built the X-35 prototype, which was introduced in 2001 as the new multi-role fighter for the JSF program. In 2006, this fighter already had a name, F-35 Lightning II, when it completed the testing stage and made its first official flight. The result was a single-seat, single-engine, medium-weight jet fighter built on a heavy versatile design that can include a variety of takeoff and landing configurations, weaponry and overall performance. The aircraft serves both the US Air Force and the US Navy, for which there are variants with capabilities of long run, short run and even vertical takeoff options, a version optimized for aircraft carriers. The number of sensors, software systems and cutting edge technology that the F-35 integrates would surprise Bill Gates himself since these aircrafts are, if you will, intelligent. It has an ESA ANAPG-81 radar, detection, interception and warning system against projectiles or incoming threats, ANASQ-239 base systems Barracuda electronic warfare system, communications with data link, a satellite network connection and many more sophistications. The interface used by the pilot is projected on the helmet visor using reality argumented technology and allows the aviator to be fully aware of both the status of the aircraft as well as the environment and nearby threats. The Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon is a key piece of the new chessboard that Beijing has drawn in recent years and together with its three aircraft carriers and it is emerging as the aircraft that will support Xi Jinping's expansion desires in the Asian seas. This fighter has raised great controversy in recent years, 
As some Washington officials pointed out that its design is a copy of the F-35 Lightning II, and they have even launched accusations of industrial espionage by China. Little detail is known about the Mighty Dragon, especially its technical side, although two features have been announced by the People's Liberation Army Air Force. First, its stealth capability is strengthened with new Chinese-made engines called WS-10, which will replace the AL-31FN engines of Russian origin that powered the first manufactured models of the J-20. Another aspect is the interface for the pilot, which will combine augmented reality projection on the helmet, as well as navigation elements on the cockpit's own windshield, similar to the F-35 Lightning II. As for its arsenal, the Mighty Dragon uses the same weapons as other Chinese aircrafts, such as the short-range PL-10, medium-range PL-12 and long-range PL-15 missiles, as well as the LS-6 guided bombs. North of China, one of the most superb aircrafts is produced by Russia. The Sukhoi Su-57 is a paradoxical fighter since it has caused a huge stir in the community of military aviation fans, but at the same time has seen fewer than two dozen manufactured. The first prototypes flew in 2010, more than a decade ago, but in all that time little has been seen of their actual performance in action. Its baptism by fire was over the skies of Syria in 2018, but little or nothing transpired about the performance of the new Russian fighter which could be due to a state secret, or its participation did not represent a particular advantage in the conflict. Something similar happened in the first months of the invasion of Ukraine, since there were many military specialists and journalists who were surprised not to see the Su-57 operating in Eastern Europe. The design of this aircraft focused on stealth, with a shape reminiscent of the American F-22 Raptor. The materials used in its fuselage are made of low-density alloys, ideal for reducing its radar footprint at long distances, although its effectiveness at close range is unknown. Its targeting system is on par with the F-35 Lightning II, since it uses a computer that assists the pilot in threat assessment, situation awareness and target acquisition. As for its avionics, the Su-57 integrates the GLONASS satellite navigation system, in addition to fly-by-wire, which allows the aircraft to be piloted with electronic controls. A novelty is the OEPS-27 optical sighting system, which works passively or silently, that is, without generating any type of footprint, and was integrated to improve the stealth capability of the aircraft and the few examples that have seen the light of day carried a 30mm JSH-301 cannon with 250 rounds of ammunition, as well as 10 anchor points prepared to carry Vimpel R-33 air-to-air missiles. Obviously, the most modern Russian fighter is designed exclusively to be an aerial predator, despite the fact that it is a bird of titanic dimensions, at least among jet fighters. Air warfare has changed a lot in recent decades, and these three powerful aircrafts are living examples of both the technology and political evolution of the military industry, paving an exciting path into the future of jet fighters. Thank you very much for joining us in this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next episode.